to another edition of the Everlast Power video series. Today we're going to be following on the heels of the Everlast TIG Torch video and we're going to be looking at the TIG Torch consumables and accessories. We're going to show you a little bit about uh, the compatibility and the differences in the TIG Torch consumables and the type of things that are available to go with the TIG Torch to help improve the performance of the TIG Torches while you're welding. So we're going to start by looking at the two basic sizes of torches and we're going to divide these consumables up into those two categories. What we have here are two of the torch sizes that you're going to find under 350 amps throughout the industry. Now there are other sizes as well, there are other torches, but these are the two very most common torches that you're going to find in almost every welding supply store is going to have uh, consumables available for these two style torches. Now this style torch is available in a WP9, which is an air-cooled torch, and that's what we have here. Or it's available as a WP20 series, and that's a water-cooled torch. Now this is a larger torch size, and it carries a larger consumable. Now this is available actually in a 17 series, a WP26 series, and a WP18 series. The 17 and 26 are air-cooled, and the 18 is water-cooled and the 18 being water-cooled and the 20 being water-cooled carries more amperages than the air-cooled versions. We're going to take a look at how to assemble these torches, the consumable size difference, the different type consumables available for these torches, and we're going to show you how they interchange with other brands across the industry. We're on the same page when we're discussing the parts, let's look at the different components. Now this is the torch handle. It actually comes loose from the torch body. It either slides on or it unscrews and this one happens to just slide on and it's held on by friction. The other one is the torch head and the torch body and of course this is the torch head and this will be the neck. Um, we have a special consumable here that uh, I guess you would call a consumable but it's actually not something that you're going to have to go uh, replace very often. This is the heat shield. Now this goes between the cup and the torch head and you're going to find that it provides a heat barrier between the two pieces of material to keep the torch head from melting. The heat shield also provides a good surface for the cup to mount to. That prevents the uh, leakage of argon gas. Okay, let's look at the collet holder and the collet next. The collet is actually the part that holds your tungsten tightly. Now your tungsten cannot be held tightly unless the collet, which is slotted along the front here, is jammed inside the collet holder. Now the collet body has a tapered surface on the inside so that when the collet is slid down it slowly tightens against the tungsten, it wedges against the tungsten. And we'll show you how this happens in a minute, but let's show you how to assemble the collet and the collet body together on the torch. One side of the collet body has coarse threads, the other side has fine threads. Inside the torch head you're going to find a uh, cut threads inside the torch head and it, they're going to be fine thread you want to screw this up inside the torch. Now you want to drop your collet in from the back side right here and that will slide down into the collet body. And of course when this torch is assembled fully you're going to slide your tungsten in through like this. Now we talked about the collet wedging against the collet body. Um, how this happens is with what we call a back cap. Now the back cap comes in different sizes and different lengths. This is designed for a real short piece of tungsten when you need to get down on a narrow crack or someplace to weld and need to put the torch head down in some place that's really tight you'll use a short back cap. They also have a medium. This is a long back cap and it'll go completely down over a new piece of tungsten and just simply screws in like this. Now on the back side of these caps you're going to find an o-ring. Now make sure that o-ring is seated all the way down inside the back of the torch head. Some versions of torches you're going to actually find that the maker has put a uh, heat shield on the back and that's alright. This has actually got a surface here where these o-ring will engage so we're not worried about it sealing because it's already built into the torch. You simply screw the back cap down until it becomes tight and you see there may be a little gap here but the o-ring has disappeared. Now the one thing that you want to do is test and see if you can pull the tungsten in and out. Now that will hold it tight. Now if it's loose, of 
course it's going to slide, but as soon as I tighten up on the back cap, it becomes solid. Now this is a good time to insert a little footnote here. With our stock torches with our unit, we send one collet holder with three different size collets. Normally in the industry, you have a matched collet holder with a each size collet that you have. We have here two collets, and this is ours. This is a three-way split collet, which allows it to compress evenly around the tungsten. Um, this is a two-way split collet from a major manufacturer, and it'll compress the collet if the collet is matched to a collet body. But because of the design of our collet bodies and our collets, uh, one collet body is needed for three different size collets because the three-way split allows the tungsten just to be compressed evenly as it slid down the taper. Now unless this two-way collet split is matched with its own special collet body, um, the tungsten is not going to be held properly. Look at the gas flow from the torch head real quick. Now the gas flows inside the torch head and it goes down into the collet holder and it exits these little holes here on the side. Now the gas has to be directed down into the welding area. Let's look at the cups next. Now the cups actually serve to direct the argon shielding gas down around the weld. Now these have a different variety of opening sizes. These are standard cups and there are different type cups and we'll discuss those in a little bit. But the cup is actually available in different widths here and different openings here and that's going to uh, depend on the type of weld that you're doing, the joint, and the gas flow rate that you need. Now the cup simply screws onto the coarse threads here on the collet holder and it seats up against the shield here. Now if it's not seating good you're going to have a problem and you're going to have leakage here and you're not going to get good shielding down here on the tungsten where you're welding. Now we've assembled this torch. We can see we've got a good bit of stick out. We haven't of course dressed the tungsten or anything. We're just using this for demonstration. But if you've got too much stick out, all you need to do is loosen up your back cap and adjust your stick out to where you need it and then retighten your back cap. Now what I'd like to point out now is that our consumables will interchange with any other name brand components out there on the market. What we actually have here is side by side comparison of our consumable against a name brand manufacturer. Now, these are the same size, same basic design. The only difference here is a little bit lighter in color. The thread pitch and everything is identical on the inside, and we have a collet body that's made by a name brand manufacturer, and then we have our collet body, and then we have our collet side by side with the name brand manufacturer. And can you pick out which one it is? Well, actually, this is the name brand manufacturer. Now, this is the name brand manufacturer, and of course we already pointed out this is the name brand manufacturer. We've already shown you how these parts fit. Now I'm going to show you that these parts here will fit right into our torch without any problem. They'll go right in, they screw right in, and fit right on our torches. Now it goes right on, fits just like ours, and of course, you know, if we want to adjust it, the tungsten is the same thing. Now, the same thing goes with the back caps. If you ever break a back cap, you can get them locally and you can buy the name brands or any other aftermarket brand and they'll fit this same size series torch. What we've done, we've created an exploded view here for you to see. What we have back here, of course, is the back cap. We have the tungsten, which is actually underneath the back cap. And it goes down into the collet on the other side. The collet goes down into the collet holder and of course then we have the cup that screws onto the collet and all this screws together of course. Now the 9 and 20 series is no different in the way it assembles or the components that it includes. The only difference is a physical size difference in the components. What we've done is put the larger series torch components against the smaller series torch components. Now as you can see these are both the same size cups. These are number fours. Now, they're both the same internal diameter, but you can see the size difference here. We also have the same size collet. These both hold 332nd tungsten. But as you can see, this collet is much smaller in the 920 series than it is in the larger torch series. And again, we have the collet body or the collet holder, and you can see the size difference and a little bit design difference here 
in the collet holder. Let's look at the gas lens for a second. The gas lens simply directs the gas flow much more efficiently around the weld than a standard uh, cup. Um, they're a little bit more expensive to get a gas lens set up on a torch, but you can get a gas lens set up either on the smaller series or the larger series, and the gas lens comes in several sizes as well. You can get a stubby series like this, or you can get a long series for both uh, the smaller series torch and the larger series torch. Now these are simply uh, go together here. You can see this is a very well used one that I've had and uh, it goes on to this torch here and it goes right on to it. Now I've actually left off um, the, the um, heat shield here because it has a heat shield built into it. So I'm going to screw this down onto it. Now it also uses the standard collet that we use for the 9 and 20 on this one. And of course it just simply goes together like that and then of course you have your back cap as well that screws down onto that. If you have any problems with porosity or whatever, a gasoline will probably help improve the flow of gas around your weld and eliminate that. If you're seeing your tungsten start to discolor, the gas lens will also help with that. Now they are available in different uh, internal diameters as well, as I said in long or short versions. Um, it just depends on what you're going to be welding is whether you need a gas lens or not. As we talked about, the, the cups will come in a variety of different sizes. What we have here are 4, 5, and 6. They make a 7 and an 8 as well. Um, the size that you're going to use is going to depend on the amount of gas flow that you need, as we said, and the type joint design. If you need to get way down in a joint, of course, you're going to need a smaller cup to allow you to get down into a narrow, tight place. Um, you may have to adjust your gas flow because you won't need as much gas flow depending on your amperage. Hopefully this video helps with selecting the best torch and consumables for the project that you have. Now if you need any other help or have any other questions about the torches, please give us a call.